Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope those are watching this video is doing great and having good health. And in this video, I'm going to explain about the elasticity and also I'll be explaining about Hooke's law. So before going to explain, uh, I need to say something about what is elasticity. Students of English version, Scarlet College and wherever from the world is watching this video. Elasticity is the properties of an object that suppose a rubber or a spring is stuck in one side and then by the other side I'm pulling it down into the right side. So we say that it was previously like this shape and then after pulling it down it just getting a new shape and then if we release the force it will gain its own previous shape. So the properties inside of this spring is gaining its previous shape after losing the applied force that properties is known as elasticity and that is how said about it that that within the elastic limit the stress is directly proportional to strain now we need to think about what is actually stress and what is strain well so I hope that you have already started about elasticity. Think about the elasticity. Suppose this is a rubber and I'm just pulling it into the different directions with my hands and in one, one moment I just saw that we are just doing it, doing it, doing it on one side, it will break down because this elasticity has its own limit. I will definitely pull it down into different directions before breaking it that means it has some elastic limit and in this limit if I pull it down more and more the change of its shape will be more so it means that the stress the change of shapes or length is happening the amount of force I'm applying so that in, in per, per unit area so that when I'll press it more then it will change more. So the stress is directly proportional to strain according to Hooke's law. So now we need to think about what is stress. Stress is force, stress is we can say that the force, the force per, per unit area, the force per unit area that develops into the substance for the deformation so now a new word we need to understand what is actually deformation deformation means it means that uh, that that suppose you are applying a force I will I definitely come to this thing that suppose you are applying a force and then there is some changes of its shape that changes of its shape it by applying force is known as deformation and for the, that deformation suppose this is a raw bud so and that why it stuck in one side and this is the previous length of this rod bar and now if you think that a weight has been pulled down to downwards and then it get a new shape it means that Apparently we can see that previously the length was L0. Think about it. And now when you just make some weight into the downwards, it gets its new shape and some length has enlarged. And this length is known as del L. That means when it gets its new shape, this capital L, that is the new length, will be definitely larger than the previous one. So we got it as a strain that strain means the changes happening on its previous length so usually the strain is L minus L naught over L naught but the stress is the stress is the force the force upon unit area which is applying for the deformations. So the force which is actually working here is this tension. This tension is a type of force which is acting against the deformation. 
and where till the elastic limit will be there the steel will be working and it will try to get its own shape after removing this external force so this tension is working here so that means we can say instead of F by A which is T by A so what is the the main concept as you know that according to Hooke's law that is within the elastic limit stress is directly proportional to strain now what is stress stress is the force upon unit area that is working against deformation and what is strain the strain is the change the change the relative change of an object of its length or of shape when an outside force will be applied so the definition of strain and the definition of stress should be cleared so the strain is the change of length or shape after applying the out external force or the stress is force upon unit area now you think that according to the Hooke's law stress the stress is the stress is here stress is directly proportional to strain now you think what is stress stress is T upon A is directly related with this one L minus L naught upon L naught now you think that in physics when you have the relationship in between two quantities and if you want to make an equation we need to put a constant and these cases in case of Hooke's law the constant is Young's modulus and that's why we will write this T upon A is equal to Y L minus L naught by L naught and this is an equation and hopefully I know that there are some mathematical problems that we need to solve within these equations so we need to think at first that in case of stress as we have T by A we know that unit would be as T is a force it would be slip Newton per meter square which is actually Pascal okay this is about Pascal and also as strain it's all about a length by length so if it is meter by meter so it would be definitely vanished as it has it is actually the ratio of two similar quantity so strain will have no unit but the stress will have a unit which is called Pascal so it means Newton per meter square area so that is why if I need to find out why then what will be the scenario suppose this is actually the Pascal and this is y and this is nothing so we got it that the unit of the young modulus is actually Pascal and sometimes it has been like expressed in your book like GPA this is actually the Giga Pascal so 1 Giga Pascal is 1 billion Pascal I mean 1 I mean 10 to the power 9 Pascal and you see there are some cases you know, there's some young modulus of uh, copper uh, woods and some other things is given in your book so I think you will understand if you read it again after watching this video or if you even you can see this videos before reading it but I always prefer that at first you read your own books you try to understand by your own efforts and if you don't understand then I think you, you need to search uh, assistance from Google or even YouTube and you can see some uh, videos in different channels but that is why I'm, I'm trying my level best to make you understand when you tried but you didn't understand think about it the previous lead was L0 and after pulling it it was L and this L is definitely greater than L0 and then this tension is working against the weight so this T by A is actually the stress so as the stress is definitely proportional to strain we got this equation so T by A is equal to Y L minus L naught by L naught so you should understand this one suppose in any questions the data is given regarding Young modulus applying this is easy but before that 
try to understand this T is force A is unit area of this substance this is Young modulus which is fixed which is fixed and it will not change I mean if any substance will be given like copper, rod, diamond, whatever the Young modulus is fixed and then the length if you have been asked what is the change length definitely Young modulus should be given or even all the data is given the question may be asked for Young modulus of their substance so we can find out any data if the question is there and we can understand the data so of course I think that you understand what I have explained here and if you don't do write me in the comment section after watching this video that you don't understand I will definitely reply and of course let me know that what is your requirement I have uploaded maximum level of videos understanding the topics level and I am uploading based on the chapters what is discussed and throughout the following years if new topics are coming I will definitely try to adjust these videos into my channels so thank you so very much of course I think you understand and if you don't do write me take care stay well see you in next class